you feel like there's some opportunities that you can take advantage of your size? Uh, yeah. When the first, well, when we played at their place, I feel like I, I kind of strayed away from it a little bit. I, I had it kind of going early on, but then they started sending doubles, and then it just turned to like me passing out the double and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I feel like what we can do is uh, try to get the, the mismatches more and try to look forward more and uh, try to capitalize on our size. Uh, our guards have good, pretty good size, and then they switch a lot, so if we, if we can get them switched on one of our bigs or, or wingmen, then we'll be okay. Taz, being that you were able to get one against this Kansas State team in the regular season, how much confidence does that give you guys going into tomorrow night, knowing it's a team you did get a win against? Yeah, uh, well, to be honest, I think we can win against anyone, even if uh, there's this teams that we didn't beat at all, obviously, in the in conference. But having a win against one team and, you know, you're playing against the team twice, it gives it gives you a little confidence boost, you know. But I feel like with, uh, with our team, it could have been anyone. We could have played literally anyone, and we would have still had the same confidence level going in to any team that we would have played. Can you describe what makes it so much harder to make shots when you've got to elevate to the top of your jump, really strain, really extend, versus when you can just, you know, catch it, step in, kind of in rhythm, and don't have to have all that strain in, in elevating? Uh, well, there's two different types of shooters, I feel like. Uh, there's jump shooters and there's set shooters, but you have some people that fit perfectly in the middle, which I think uh, me and Sean pretty much are. Like we, we fit perfectly in the middle to where we can either stand still and, have, and you know, shoot a, a set shot, or we can go off the bounce, or just go off the off three off the catch and just elevate. So uh, there's a difference in being you have to change your shot, alter your shot if you're not used to jumping on your jump shot, and it kind of kind of feel awkward to you. you might end up leaving the shorter shoot it over. So it's, it's definitely a difference between both your shooters. Does it change your timing a little bit? Like your release, you're releasing a little later, waiting until you get to the top of your jump. Yeah, it, it changes your timing, but I feel like I do a good job at. At working on different types of releases when I'm working out, because uh, you're not going to end up shooting the same shot all the time. You might have to adjust to closeouts because uh, there's a lot of taller people guarding me, so I know I have to elevate and get the shot up. You know, sh uh, have a straight, straight arm going. You know, shooting high. So it's a little, it's a little different. But uh, if you work on it enough, it won't bother you as much. Excited to soak in the full atmosphere here again. First time for you too, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, first year uh, COVID shut down last year, mm -hmm. uh, limited fans. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's going to be good for all of us, I feel like. I'm really especially excited for uh, the, the freshmen and then the, the newer guys that really hasn't experienced the Big 12, you know, atmosphere, the Big 12 conference uh, tournament atmosphere. You know, you see guys walking in recording all the, the stuff they got off teams and the, the graphics and stuff going on. So it's like, okay, like, they're going to be ready. You know, we're going to be ready. The, our seniors, the, the people who this very well could be our last game, I uh, hope it's not. But I'm excited for all of us. I think we're going to come out and play with a lot of energy. And think back to two years ago, how surreal that was, being in a hotel and all of a sudden saying, hey, we're going home. Yeah, it was It was crazy. We ended up making TikToks because it was bored. <laughs> and uh, now it was crazy because once, you, once you get, you're getting ready to play a game or go practice, I forgot what we was doing, and then you hear, like you see on Twitter, NBA, right? And then we was like, okay, if the NBA did it, you know, it's probably the NCAA is probably gonna do it too. So we're now we're just sitting here waiting on the call, you know, but we're still ready to go do whatever we're gonna do. But now you're just waiting on the call to see if you can go do it or not. And then once we got the call, it was like, dang, man, I feel bad for all the seniors, yeah, because there was no COVID rule to the extra year. So Jermaine Chase, like all those guys didn't have that extra year, extra luxury like right. we did. So I always, I still feel bad for them for not having that that last go around at this. You guys felt pretty good. You were on a roll going into that yeah. game too. You felt like you could make a little run. Yeah, we we struggled. Uh, do I say like four yeah. or five games, some like six games, something around there, and then we capped it all off with that home win against Baylor, and then we really thought that was going to propel us into a great tournament run. And uh, we had a lot of high hopes for that team. Last thing here, do you you know when you have the teams that are playing in the first game, it means that they didn't have the seasons that they expected. You guys didn't. Kansas State didn't. Do you think it's a matter of which team wants to stick around and play could be as much as, as anything with, with tomorrow's game? Yeah, I feel like uh, you can have teams to where it's like, okay, we don't think that we can go far, so mm -hmm. we might as well get out of this tournament early yeah. so we can just end the season and go on. That's not us. Uh, we strongly feel like we can win this whole thing. We play to everybody. We know we can compete with anybody. Uh, it all just comes into a matter of uh, finishing games and 
knowing game plan and paying attention to detail and all that. Uh, so we're definitely not one of those teams to where we don't think that we can win. We definitely feel and think we can win. Thanks, Thanks Chad.